it may sound beautiful, but there is a price to pay for a sound like that. Top British cello Stephen Italis is playing a 270-year-old Stradivarius, which is so valuable both financially and as a treasure that it goes everywhere with Stephen. He has to eat with it, breathe with it, he practically sleeps with it. Is that true? Not the last Not bit. Not the last no. bit. No, I was exaggerating. <laughs> but look, we've got a portion of your day here, which shows <sighs> just that Abbey Road is great, which shows just how inconvenient it is. I mean, you have to lug this thing wherever you go. I do. You? I'm used to it, I must say. But it, it is a pain. I mean, you know, if you're in a public place, you can't go to the loo because you can't fit it in the stalls. I have to go into the disabled toilet every time. That gets me into trouble. And, <laughs> and then you travel a lot for work. I always travel to play concerts so therefore I always need the cellist there's always two airline tickets yes. twice as expensive there's not just one airline no, ticket in but the only envelope. revenge I get I always demand kosher food for my cello so it's very very precious to you obviously but I would say fairly inconvenient I, yeah I can't argue with that I'm well if, if you'd like to hand over the Strad to your son Gabriel I'm going to present you with what I think is actually a fairly viable option Look. <laughs> what is mother <laughs> eating? Have a go on this. <laughs> this is an electronic folding cello. There are custom made ones like this for specialists, but this is the first one to be sold over the counter in the UK. It's got those fold down wings, you can see there, and it's also got screw on arms to make it feel like a full sized instrument. But of course, the most important thing is what it sounds like. other electronic instrument it plays through an amplifier you can plug in headphones if you want privacy for all those practices you have to do in hotel bedrooms concert hall sounds you can have the manufacturers worked very hard to make it sound like a real cello so it uses real wood and has a specially adapted narrow sound box which is this bit here isn't it mm -hmm. um, it sounds different what's your verdict um I'd like it to, to, to look nicer, but I suppose it's right. Um, what does it sound like? Not the how does it sound? It sounds like a recording of a very good cello, which is considerably better than sounding like a recording of a bad cello. <laughs> I mean, it is nice. It's just, it's not human. The Stradivarius has a soul. It's alive. Mm -hmm. This isn't alive, but it could be jolly useful yeah. you know, for hotel rooms, although I must say it's quite fun disturbing other hotel guests. It's about the only time I've ever been stopped from practicing in a hotel room as when there were music critics in the next room. <laughs> um, but that is right. No, it's jolly useful. So, okay, then, then the 90 million or priceless question when it comes to strads is, would you trade it for your strad? Yes. Of course you wouldn't. Couldn't. No, you couldn't, could you? It's, priceless. Nah, it's like trading my wife for a dummy. Couldn't, <laughs> couldn't do it. Oh, you're so romantic. <laughs> Thank you. These musicians, you see. Thank you so much for trying it out. <laughs> Pleasure.